we have already looked at one ancient Greek thinker who believed that the earth is flat and that was Anaxagoras. It turns out that there were many Greek thinkers, you can perhaps call them the scientists of their time, who argued that the earth is flat. One of them was Thales. Thales is a figure to whom we will devote an entire course later. He is supposed to have been the first philosopher, not only in the Greek tradition, but in the whole of the Western tradition. If you don't know who a philosopher is, don't worry, we'll take up that question some other time. Thales was also a mathematician. He was considered to be one of the seven wise men of ancient Greece. But Thales seems to have believed that the earth was flat. We don't have any of his writings, so there's a lot of uncertainty about what his beliefs exactly were. But according to Aristotle, again in the work called On the Heavens, others say that the earth rests upon water. This indeed is the oldest theory that has been preserved and is attributed to Thales of Miletus. Miletus was the town on the coast of western Turkey, you can see that here, from where Thales was. So in those days, the extent of Greek civilization was far beyond the boundaries of mainland Greece. Greek civilization existed in southern Italy, along the western coast of Turkey, and in several places around the Mediterranean. So going back to this quote by Aristotle, Thales of Miletus said that the earth rests upon water. The earth was supposed to stay still on water because it floated like wood and other similar substances which float on water. Historians have generally interpreted this passage to mean that Thales believed that the earth was flat and that it floated on water like a piece of wood and it was at rest that is it didn't move on the surface of the water it was floating on so the continents of Europe Asia and Africa which formed the known landmass of the earth for the Greeks these three continents are floating on the waters of the ocean which surround the landmass of the earth. So if you pick any location in Europe or Asia or Africa and if you start walking in any direction you will sooner or later reach the shores of some ocean. So the ocean surrounds all of the known landmass of the earth. It's as if the earth's landmass is a huge piece of wood floating on the ocean. So you can see that this is a flat earth model that Thales believed in.